So, Jared, right now you are painting a picture of someone who deep down is very lonely. Someone who is not content or fulfilled with their life. Would you agree with this assessment of yourself? Yeah, probably. I don't know, it just seems like I'm walking through the motions sometimes, you know? Must be a very difficult thing to deal with day in and day out. Why do you think you feel this way? Uh, honestly, it probably has something to do with me being a virgin. Yeah, I think you made mention of that before. I'm 24 now. I just uh, I don't understand how I couldn't have met someone who's willing to fuck me. I mean, am I that hideous? Well, what do you think the problem is? Is there anything you've noticed about yourself that would um, be getting in your way? I, I think I'm just too wishy-washy with girls. You know, it's like I, I get all self-conscious and, and they'll make my move fast enough. Non-fat pumpkin latte. A little girly, don't you think? Yeah, well, I guess I'm just comfortable with my sexuality. I can appreciate that in a guy. Right. <laughs> uh, Here's your latte. Hey, you, you know, I was thinking, uh, maybe when you get off, we could... Uh... Um, absolutely not. Uh, oh, next. Hi there. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Hey, can I'm I get great. you um... But then I tried speed dating, and then it seemed like maybe I was being a little bit too forward. Oh, hey, uh, Jared. Uh, Melissa. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I like the part. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So this is weird, right? Yes. <laughs> thank you. I kind of feel like we're on display or something like that. Yeah. It's not, not good for a guy who looks like me. I think you're pretty cute. Thank you. Um. Okay, uh, gonna be honest, not really looking for a relationship right now, uh, just trying to find a cool girl I can... No strings attached. Exactly. You're on my wavelength. Do you wanna, um, get out of here? I say yes to that. Okay. Let me just grab my purse. Sure. <laughs> What? What's wrong? I, I am. I have. I have to go. I'm. <clears throat> I'm. I'm sorry. Yes. But then one time I actually came really close. But then something just went wrong. girls or something. I just can't figure it out and it drives me crazy. I need, maybe it's just not meant to be. I don't I don't know what the problem is. Or or I guess it, it could be the fact I have 30 pound balls. Yeah that could probably be something to do with it. Partnered with the fact that you so often wear shorts. Seems a little counterintuitive, doesn't it? Like a drape or some kind of tarp better suit you? No, I, I gotta let them breathe or they'll get infected. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's probably it. Um, do you mind me asking you why you are so prodigious down there in the first place? Well, I guess it started around the time I was 12, 13, 
You know, my dad told me that my testes would descend as I became a man, so I didn't worry about it, but uh, then they just wouldn't stop descending. So then I looked it up online on the computer and uh, it told me it might be this thing called elephantitis, so I don't know, I guess that's what it is. So you've never been to a doctor for this? You're a doctor, right? Yeah, never mind. I don't think you've got elephantitis, Jared. If you have gone that long without medical attention, you'd be... Yeah, you'd be dead right now. Listen, I am just wondering, and I may be way off base on this, but you know, since you made it really clear that you're a virgin, I was just curious, have you ever finished? No, I've, I've never had sex before. Have you not been listening this entire time? Yeah, no, I don't mean that. I mean, have you ever climaxed? Ejaculated. Yeah, how am I supposed to do that without a girl? Oh, my dear boy. Unzip your pants. I'm gonna solve this problem for good. Uh, I'm not sure I... Just let this happen. Yeah, I don't need that one. No, no, do it. Give me. 